Hi everyone, welcome to Atoma 16. If you are a new member of my YouTube channel, don't forget to share and subscribe Atoma 16. In our today's lesson, I'm going to explain, I'm going to show you how we are going to find such an interesting exponential and very exciting exponential equation. That. So how we do this problem? How we are going to find a solution of this problem? I think you need a special technique in order to solve these exponential problems. Is that? So what's the difference between the two equations in general? There are two equations here. What's the relation and what's the equation? The way that we're going to apply to solve this problem is always the same. Let me show you how we are going to determine solution of this one. So look. So when you come to the first case, in the first case, you already have this way, that 2 raised to a minus 1 over a minus 1 plus 2 raised 3 a minus 2 over a minus 1 is going to be 24, is that? So how we are going to describe, because here, as you know, for example, let me show you a very simple or very simple technique, how we are going to determine this one. Can we say that these two things are the same? I think look, look the markers that I have in both of my hands. See that? Here in one hand there is two markers, on the other there is one. Can we say that these two things are the same? Can we say? No. When we say these will be the same, when we say these two hands will by the same amount, is that? For example, it's all like this one, is that? Because there is too much marker than this one, is that? So this will be the same. The amount that will be added in both these and these hands should be the same, is that? So that's the way. Therefore, let me come to this problem. Now, when we say the sum of this two, this plus this, I think, as you know, these are two different values, is that? So when we are two different values on the left side, we have to add two different values on the right side that will have same value of this one and this one respectively. That. So let me write this problem in the form of this one. So 24 means it is written as the sum of two distinct values. Is that? Because these are not the same value. So similarly, we have to write the right side with and as the sum of two distinct values, that is going to be 16 plus what? Which is going to be 8, is that? So this is the way, is that? So, now in hints, this is perfectly written as 2 raised to a minus 1 over a minus 1 plus 2 raised 3 a minus 2 over a minus 1. That's going to be 2 raised 4 plus 2 raised 3, is that? Because 16 means 2 raised to 4. 8 means 2 raised to 3. So we have already written these 24 as the sum of two distinct values. Is that? So these and these are distinct. But which will be the equivalent algebraic expression for this one? So in order to say which will be corresponding for this one and corresponding for this one, First of all, you have to be technical, is that? Now look, here 4 is greater than 3. So from the exponent 2 and 2 is the same, is that? So which exponent will be or will have more value or larger value of this and this, is that? Which will be? Look, in order to check that, let's plug to both sides. If it is 2, it is going to be what? 6 minus 2 over 1. If you plug to here, that is 4 minus 1 over 1, is that? This will be 3 and this will be 4, is that? So these will have larger values than this one. So correspondingly, in order to solve this problem, because as I told you before, these, the right and the left expression to be the same, what will be the corresponding value for this one? The corresponding value for this will be the expression having less exponent. So it is going to be this to be the same if and only if 2 raised to a minus 1 over a minus 1 is going to be 2 raised 3 and 2 raised 3 a minus 2 
over a minus 1, that is going to be 2 raised to 4. You know? So it should be the same. You know the reason why? I'm already explained, I'm already said. Now, the, the, the very important reason for this is that. So this should be the reason. And hence, they have the same bit. If they have the same bit, you can equate their exponent together. Over a minus 1, that's going to be 3. And now this is 3a minus 2 over a minus 1, that's going to be 4. And three cross, is that? Use three cross. So when you multiply this one to a minus 1, which is going to be 3a minus 3. And this, this is 3a minus 2 is going to be 4 minus a minus 4, is that? If you multiply both sides, this three cross, is that? Then let's bring this on the left side. 2a minus a will be minus a, and move this on the right, that is minus 3 plus 1, that's going to be minus 2. So minus a will be minus 2, a will be what? Perfectly 2. Perfect! Again, now end, 3a, 3a minus 4a will be what? Negative a, which is minus 2 plus negative 4 will be minus 2, a will be 2. So the value for a will be 2. That this perfect solution for this one. So when we plug a here, I mean when we plug two in place of a, these and these will be the same. That so this is the way how we are going to find solution of this problem. So could we try the second problem? Are you sure? Well, now let's come to. Let me show you how we do second problem. I think these are very interesting and tricky questions. See that? How we are going to do this problem? Let me show you. It's very interesting. Look, now 2 raised 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 3 raised 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. That's going to be. What's 43 mean? Similarly, we have to think about 43. How we are going to write 43? are the same of two numbers. I think don't select randomly 43 are the same of two numbers. Because as you know, this can be written as what? 13 plus 30. But this is not just will be written or described in the form of this way. That, that means whenever you think about this one, whenever you think to describe this as a sum of two number, now that number must be factorized as factorized with a prime factor of 2 and 3 and that is going to be what? That's going to be which is exactly 16 plus 27, is that? Because 16 is written as a product of 2 times times 2 times 2 and 27 is written as a product of 3 times 3 times 3 so and hence we have this one and this is perfectly 2 raised 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 plus 3 raised 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. That's going to be 2 raised 4 plus 2 raised 3. I think here it is obvious, is that? So now, I mean sorry, this is 3 raised 3. Now here, it is very simple to equate this one, is that? Because we have to equate here, there is no, no need just to compare which will be the corresponding for the other because the expression having the same base will be equal together, is that? We have to equate this is together and we have to equate this is together. Now and hence, this is perfectly 2 raised 3x minus 2 over x minus 1, that's going to be 2 raised 4 and 3 raised 2x minus 1 over x minus 1, that's going to be 3 raised 3. Since they have the same base, 3x minus 2 over x minus 1, that's 4. And this is the same 2x minus 1 over x minus 1, that's going to be 3. And here we have this one, 3x will be minus 2, will be 4x minus 4. And hence 2x minus 1 is going to be 3x minus 3. Let's do this one. Let's bring this on this minus x. If you move 4x on the left, 3x minus 4x will be minus x. If you move minus 2 on the right, it will be plus. Negative 4 plus 2 will be minus 2. Similarly, let you bring this on the left to x minus 3x will be minus x. Move this on the right, minus 3 plus this is negative 1 minus 2. So x will be 2 and x will be 2. You see, same value. Unfortunately, 
the value for x in the second equation and the value for a in the first equation, that will be the same. So this is the way how we are going to find such interesting and exciting problems, is that? So if you are a new member of my YouTube channel, you are expected to share, like, and subscribe. It's almost 60 because you didn't pay anything if you share, if you subscribe and like, but you'll help other students to have more knowledge about mathematics. Thank you for today. Have a nice time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.